Just wanna rub my belly while we watching TV. I really want her to get up and make something to eat. Step out the house fresh when I go and get the bag. Popping bottles, popping tags. It's just something about this fat boy swag. Swag, 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 swag. It's just something about this fat boy swag. Swag, 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 swag. It's just something about this fat boy swag. It's just something about this fat boy swag. Swag, 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 swag. It's just something about this fat boy swag. Swag, 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 swag. It's just something about this fat boy swag. for tuning in to another edition of the Eugene B Show where we drop dope new content every single Thursday on our growing YouTube channel. So as I mentioned, we are here today with my boy London, my cousin, my famo. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about some things, um, some things to come in 2021. We're going to be talking about purpose. We're going to be yes. talking about using our platform to inspire others. We're going to be talking about fashion with the fashion icon over come here. On, that's you. This guy is the fashion icon. No, I ain't got it like you. Dude, stop. This is a little one. You, know, you got the, the coordinator for that too. So that's really we good. did coordinate with the earth tones and we didn't even plan this no, seriously. So like I rolled up over here. I was really going through in my head like, what am I going to wear? What am I going to, because you know, dude, no, for real, I'm being so serious. Like you you know when it's a vibe, when you got people that's got a vibe, like oh. you gotta come through. Like you can't be just half stepping. And I still feel like I'm underdressed because he got on his um his his what is it the Beyonce Sasha? So you know head? what it is really the look is really you know it's quarantine right or mm -hmm. was quarantine still was quarantine and so I had gained a little weight like a lot of people. So one thing I realized is you can do oversized clothes and make it real cute and fun. So that's mm -hmm. what we did. Like it's an oversized look. I look a little skinny, I'm sure, but you know it's just a little <laughs> trick, a trick of the matter. <laughs> Just kind of learn how to do what you got. Use what you got to get what you want. <laughs> oh my, yeah. Come on, Rodney. Come on, folks. Rodney, folks. That's all. <laughs> so, y'all, we um, we just over here vibing. We're having a good time in 2021. Yes. And, um, yeah, so we we got some new things that are coming out. So, we're just going to sit down and we're going to chill and we're going to talk a little bit. So, uh, so London, for the people who out mm. there that don't know who you are, right. please tell them who you are. So, I'm your one-stop shop for everything creative, especially within the black perspective, right? So, I do um, creative direction. Directing. I do a little styling. I did a podcast once upon a time, but I'm just the overall black creative out here living my best life. Love to travel, love to spin a coin, love to make a coin. Um, that's, why, that's what we got in common. <laughs> I'm just all about living life through the creative black perspective. Many, uh, many times. Awesome, awesome. Yes, he is. So if you guys um, can go out there and follow him on his Instagram, you'll see like everything uh, about his life and how awesome and dope he is. So if you can, tell him how to reach on your Instagram too. So my Instagram is going to be Lundo, L-O-N-D-O, Law, L-A-W, The Law. All right. Yeah. So y'all probably wondering like how we came to know each other. We are actually cousins. We are. So. <laughs> good genes, good genetics, great vibes. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about your purpose and um, and going into a little bit about how you're going to be using your platform to inspire and encourage others. Right. So 2021 is the year of change. It's the year that we kind of all went through with 2020, this is the answer to 2020, 2021. It's all about using the platform to inspire others and really to live in your purpose. So the first thing that I'm really doing that I'm super excited about is in the month of February, I'm actually doing a Black Faces of Houston creative type project. It'll be 28 days showcasing 28 different creators in the Houston area, um, innovative people, people that make you think, people that really challenge the perspective of the norm and really generate a buzz about themselves. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. And I'm excited too. He's asked me to be a part of this yeah, movement, I'm part of this vibe. So we're going to see how things go. Yeah, I don't know what you be seeing in me, London. I, I, really... see, I see the same thing they see every week on Thursday. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Yeah, so we're definitely going to be doing that with the collab in February with the um, uh, Celebrating Black Excellence, and we cannot wait to see that. Um, so let me ask you about your fashion, because, I mean, okay. if you guys do follow him on social media, you will see that he is a fashion icon. His um, his style is unlike anything that I think I've ever seen. Um, I'm being so serious. It, it gives me, a, I mean, I can't even tell you what kind of vibe it gives me. It's just mm -hmm. very different, very eclectic. And um, but it works. Mm -hmm. uh, so can you tell us where does your inspiration come from in terms of your fashion and your style? You're such a great interviewer, dude. You're asking all the good questions. <laughs> you're asking all the good stuff. You are. It's so good. My cousin showing out. It's showing up. Stop. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> 
So for me, fashion is really about a feeling. It's a mood. It's a moment. Um, for me, I, one of the earliest things for me with fashion is my grandma was like the most stylish person to me. And she showed me the art of thrifting and making new pieces out of old pieces and really just constructing yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, every time before I get dressed, I always think of the world as like, which is so corny, but it's like a stage. And you got, every time you hit that stage, you got to put that Beyonce on. You got to go for that Michael Jackson. You got to have that moment. Yeah. So I draw fashion inspiration from culture. I draw it from art. I draw it from just going to the Galleria. People watch and I love the people watch. Duke always have a good piece of tooth. I'm not going to tell you today he came with a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I draw inspiration <laughs> from day-to-day -day life in just a moment. Let's not talk about his closet because I saw a Louis Vuitton up in that closet that, that, I, that I really do want right. to borrow. Can right. I borrow? If you can. It would really go nice with these earth tones with that good old brown. A few things. <laughs> Fashion should be fun. I think it should be fun. It should be functional. And a lot of people get stuck on the fact that, like, I love unisex fashion, too. That's something that's kind of new and not really talked about. But mm -hmm. it's all about your perspective and what you bring to the fashion piece. Because we can all wear the same thing and rock it a whole different vibe in a different way. What I do is I'm really big on references. So with the tones, I pick, like, who's going to inspire that particular look. So big references. I use Kanye West a lot. I use um, Erica Badu. I love Kim Kardashian because she's a Libra and I'm a Libra. Um, I just like groundbreaking fashion and just things that are functional but also fun. Iris Eiffel, do you know who that is? No, I do not. She's an old, like 80 year old um, New Yorker. And basically her fashion, she centers all of her fashion around a piece. So I'm always a student of fashion. I'm always constantly learning and being intrigued by a multitude of different fashions. Like I love high end stuff, but I also love low end and I love that eclectic touch to it. So mm -hmm. constantly being a student of fashion. But anyways, back to Iris Eiffel. She's a New Yorker, she's 80 years old. And basically her background is she's an interior designer. So all of the pieces she go out and look for like different furniture and things and make that into like fashion. So she'd take like, um, shoestrings and she make a necklace out of it. She just repurposed things. So yeah. I'm always interested in stuff like that. And oh. just, a lot of stuff is about fit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a skinny guy, but you, it, I look like it today because it's, you know, a little um, <laughs> oversized number going on. But, you know, fits. Fits are very important for me because sometimes I want to wear things that are a little bit more fit on me. Sometimes I want to wear things that are a little bit looser. So really being able to find pieces, men and women or unisex pieces to make them your own mm -hmm. is really important to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am feeling, speaking of oversized, I am mm -hmm. feeling oversized shirts yes, like... Man. That is my vibe. Oversized shirts and skinny skinny pants. Yes. Like, that's my thing. That's yes. my jewelry. So, um, that is what I'm feeling right now. Um, and I do that um, a lot here. Yeah. And it do hide a multitude of sins. And I also love a good old sport <laughs> coat. I do. I love a good sport coat right. because that too hides a multitude of sins. You, you know to. what I'm saying? You don't want to be showing one of the two. Y'all want to look slim. Slim. Y'all want to look good, right? Oh, my goodness. So, um, so let's talk about your travels. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be doing in 2021? Okay, so I told you 2021, this year is the year of challenge. It's the year of change out of 2020. For me, I want to be taking some international trips, Duke. I want to go to, I've always wanted to go to Greece. Oh. Um, of course, I know everybody going to Tulum. You're probably going there too, and that's okay. But um, I want <laughs> You sound like our girl Tabitha. And, and, uh, and that's your business. And that's your business. <laughs> you want to take that trip to Tulum like your best friend with me. That's all right. I'm here for it. I think that it's amazing. I think just expanding oh your goodness. palette, you know? Um, you don't have to have a lot of money to travel. And I think that's something, especially as a minority, sometimes people get sidetracked by that dollar value, right? Mm -hmm. I love Airbnb, and I do have preferences where I stay, as everybody should. But the main thing about it is you want to know your budget, <laughs> and you want to travel. For, you know, because you got to think about it. And I always tell people this, too. Like, even the grand life that you create for yourself is all a manifestation, right? But I still am the same kid. They used to pack them sandwiches when you take them road trips. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm that same kid. So I remember having to pull over to the gas station to warm, my, warm the chicken up. They done packed in the back of the... Look. You, you know, fry the chicken up. You right, fry you some chicken right, and you take it with you on the right. road. You got the hot dogs in that floor. <laughs> so I still keep them mentality no matter where I go. Just because oh you got it, goodness. it can all be taken away. But Ooh, that's the truth. You know, just to travel um, anywhere, you know. Even if I want to... I was telling Duke that I want to take a road trip to... What did I say? Marfa. Uh -huh. Just new experiences. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I didn't even know what Marfa was. Mm -hmm. I am going to be going somewhere in, um, I'm going to be going to New Orleans okay. in, um, in March because, but I'm all, when I go on vacations and stuff, I'm always working. working. Yeah. I never stop working. You got to have a staycation. Like you can still work, but you got to make time for yourself. You can't be a workaholic. It's Ooh. very important to find balance in your purpose. Let's talk about balance and purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause we, okay. this is what the show is about. Okay. How do you find your balance? Because you are a workaholic too. I am. And I love to do it. And that's the thing about it. But I had to realize and COVID helped me realize this, that it's okay to take time away from everything 
everything that you got going on is still gonna be there. If you're that essential piece that holds your business, your brand, your movement together, it's still gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to alleviate yourself. So how do I relax? I like to shop. Um, when I couldn't get to a store, I redid my whole space. And I created, it is beautiful. I, thank you. I created a whole spot of good energy and good vibes. Um, I centered around minimalism, mm -hmm. um, a lot of greenery, not all real greenery, but <laughs> <laughs> because y'all, I don't know. Like, so I'm a person, I like to spend my money on things that I can see, which is why I like taking trips and clothes and stuff like that. But the greenery was very important to me because I feel like it brings good energy into your house. Now I don't sage, but I do believe in like meditating. Mm -hmm. I take five to 10 minutes a day just to kind of practice my breathing. In the morning, I listen to spiritual music. Mm -hmm. I'm not a heathen, I promise. <laughs> I listen to spiritual music in the morning as well as, you know, before I go to bed, just to kind of get my spirit right. Cause it's so important to balance your perspective yeah. no matter where you go, you got to. So that's how you stay centered. Yes, because I'll go crazy. It's a picture of Whitney Houston in a brown fur coat, and it's like, how do I manage it all? And she looking real crazy. That's me. But I clean it up real nice, and I make it work. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Uh, so, yeah, so that's definitely how you keep your zen, keep your energy um, intact um, by surrounding yourself with good, positive people. And like I was saying earlier, you always have a good just a good vibe of people that are around you all the time. Mm -hmm. All of them have wonderful, sweet spirits. And the crazy part is that you feel like you've known them for years. For, yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. It's, <laughs> it's so important to me to find people that I can connect with. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily people that are exactly similar to me, but people that I can learn life lessons from mm -hmm. and that they can learn life lessons from me as well. So that's super important to surround yourself with a good group of people that keep you humble. Because let me tell you something. To the outside world, I could be so cool and so fly, but Baby, they're going to check me every time, and I'm going to do the Ooh, same for them. Because it's so important to stay humble no matter where you're going. Like, you Ooh, have to have it. That is so key. That is so key. Oh, my goodness. This has been amazing. This has been amazing. So, tell us, London, what are some things that you want to share with the audience that you um, before we go ahead and we close out? Yeah, so something that I want to share is that we all have a purpose. We all should try our best to find our purpose and really live into that purpose. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do because it's nothing that somebody else is doing that you can't do. That is true. You know, it's all about finding your purpose, identifying that purpose, and just knowing it's a small thing. You could be that little kid that talks too much, and you could be over. Mm. <laughs> it's all about the manifestation and words of spells, words, speak words of affirmation over your life, and let this next year be that year for you. It's all about your ability to define and redefine your world. But I really want to talk about manifestation uh, because not only you, but I, I look at different trends and things that are going on with the show. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Sammy Alex said the same thing, like he manifests things in his yes, life. And, um, and so I want you to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So manifesting for me is really that ability to kind of dream it and then also achieve it. I feel like the manifest, and I can say the same thing for you too. I got a we're very similar, so I have to always say that. But for me, I feel like the person I am now is a manifestation of the little me. Um, making goals for yourself, short-term and long-term goals are super important to me um, in regards to reflecting on my life and what I'm manifesting. So your manifestation could be big or small. It's just really you finding your purpose. Again, that whole big word of purpose and really living into it, but claiming what's yours. Like it's already yours. Like I believe in whatever in this world is for me is gonna be for me. I'm not competing with nobody. I'm in my own lane at all times. Ooh, and that's the yeah. power. You are your power. So you really have to claim it and live in it. And that's how you purposefully manifest. God, that is so deep. Let me ask you this, London. So do you feel like look, I'm I'm getting into it. When this when this this hand go up, I'm just I'm really into go ahead, it. Go ahead. So do you feel like you've manifested into who you were as a kid? Like I, I'll say this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you um I look back over my life and when I was a kid, I really didn't understand like some of these things that were special, I guess what you would say right. about me. Right. Until I got to be of age and then right. I really walked into my purpose and I was right. like, Oh, that's why I was doing this. Right. Like, that's why I was, you know, right. that's right. why I had this large imagination right. and all this stuff. I mean, so do you feel like you finally walked into your purpose? Yes. I feel like it because I knew, and it's funny because I was on Instagram yesterday and somebody was like, when is the moment that you knew you had it? So the moment of finding out you're it or you're the one, I think it's that moment where everything kind of connects for you, whatever those dots were. For me, I always think of different points in my life in which I was told certain things. Like I was told I talk too much. And me talking and my personality is really what people love. Like, yeah, the clothes and stuff, but it's the personality. And when you approach somebody and they're an approachable person, different moments in your life and you have to be really careful you have to really know where you are and where you're going but when you reflect on different there's points in your life that you really 
hold on to and they really build your character. Some for good and some for bad. But that's where that manifestation comes in because you can be that person to be told like you talk too much and then stop talking and you lose your voice. But your voice is the thing that carries you. Think of Beyonce if she had never sung. Think of Oprah had she not used her voice. Think of Barack Obama if he never dared to dream. So you really have to be aware and be cognizant of every little thing. And it's hard sometimes because, you know, you have dark days. And I'm not saying it's all about good, but it's really your perspective that shapes your reality and your manifestation. Oh my God, isn't this good? You're so funny. <laughs> no, I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. See, that's what I wanted to talk about on this show. And that's what's different about 2021 season two of the Eugene B show is that we're going to be having some more of these deep intentional conversations mm -hmm. um, because I think that it's so important. Not to say that we're not going to still focus on our highlighting or, um, you know, different people's businesses or the, the projects that they got coming out and things like that because that is something that is near and dear to my heart because I definitely want to promote people and um, and that's something that I love. The music and all that stuff, I love it. But what I also like is connecting with people and um, I definitely want to throw those life hacks in there. I definitely want to get people on the show uh, that want to talk about purpose and want to talk about living a positive life because it is so many people out here that are living and I don't see how they do it but living these these negative lives like oh my gosh of them. and you can't get stuck in it and i feel like a lot of people get stuck it's draining it is draining and it's a repetitive cycle the only way that you can you have to go through in order to get through mm -hmm. so if you're in a bad space be the change that you seek you know yeah. sometimes we look for changes and we look for things to well if, if this person tells me i know i can make it sometimes you have to be that person for yourself sometimes you got to meditate sometimes you have to reflect sometimes you got to listen to a little shirley see the little patty labelle stir it up <laughs> and keep it going you have to reach for it and you got to reach because again you can go anywhere in life and i truly believe that i don't believe that you're stuck because anybody can be a victim of a bad circumstance that's not what i'm saying see what i'm saying is you can, let me preach to y'all for a second come on you come can on, be come on, in a bad situation but you don't have to stay there yeah. Sometimes you gotta fight a little bit harder. I remember that one scene in uh, that movie with Tina Turner Knight when she when she had nothing they caught in the back of the limo and she got out and she ran and she said I ain't got nothing but what Tina Thirty two thirty two cents but my name call. But I got my name and she kept her name. Cause it don't matter where you it ain't about where you being, it's where you're going. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh my that. goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a word. That is a word. See that's what we drop in dope gems on, on this platform. So London, you have been amazing. Thank oh, you so much you. for being on this episode of the Eugene B Show, um, we're definitely going to probably have you back here so that we can talk about some Thanks things. Me. I'm super proud of you too, by the way. Because you Shut up. Oh, oh my God. Don't, make me, point, don't, don't be making me. Don't be making me. And you're living your purpose right now too. You are. You know what I'm saying? You are living your purpose and you're sharing your platform with other people. And that's how you get your blessings. Because anybody can eat at the table alone, but it takes a real person to bring other people to the table Ooh, with them. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Because it ain't even about me. Like I said on one of my episodes, it ain't even about me, okay? This is all about God and what he wants me to do and highlighting people and um, bringing light to the world um, and things like that. So I just, I'm just here for the ride. You're the I'm, vessel. Yeah, I'm the vessel. The I'm just the vessel. vehicle. With a little money and a little bag. <laughs> oh, Lord, if you, if, please don't put that out there. Have people trying to rob me for nothing because no, you ain't going to find nothing in that um uh, in that Louis bag. Maybe with a good watch. <laughs> and look. A few good things. And look. They ain't even running. <laughs> baby, this one ain't even, but it's there. <laughs> it's a look, baby. They all know. It's a look. Uh, 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 it's the look. Boom. Hey, hey. Get into it, baby. They ain't got to know. Oh my goodness, I love it. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another dope episode of the Eugene B Show where we drop dope new content every single Thursday on our growing YouTube channel. Now guys, if you haven't done so already, I really need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit that bell notification so you don't miss another episode, mm -hmm. all right? We love y'all for watching. Peace. It's just somebody's fat boy swag. swag. swag.